Hey guys, 436 here, and I'm going over this motor, and I realized, degoverned, high compression head, obviously I want more revs out of this thing, Just considering I haven't done a whole lot of other things, I don't think the motor's in any unnecessary stress, so I went ahead and I bought some 18 pound valve springs to install. The problem is, the cylinder head's already on, so you might be thinking, well, now you have to take the whole cylinder off, cylinder head off again, just to do this. But actually, there's a way you can install these new valve springs without having to remove the cylinder head, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Since these are, since this engine is just degoverned and high compression ratio cylinder head, everything else being stock, 18 pound valve springs is all you need for this anything more and it would, you'd probably end up losing more power just trying to turn those springs and push the valves open so what you're going to need is some string Oops. some string tool to remove your valves your excuse me your spark plug these are eight millimeter bolts and whatever nuts size nut is behind there to crack those rocker arms off. So, put you on a tripod and let's get started. Alright, so, I popped your spark plug out and I did have to use a wrench on the end of this spark plug socket, I guess you could call it. Oh. Whoops. Made that. We'll look for that later. In the meantime, I did have to take a wrench, put it on the end of this rod, and then use it as extra leverage to pop that spark plug out. But it doesn't look that bad. It's a little carboned up. I know you guys can't see it very well, but looking at it, it's got a good burn quality. Or burn, whatever. You know, it's running good. And next we need to pop off this valve cover and to get to our valve springs and our rocker arms. All right, next, what you're gonna wanna do is pop your valve cover off. All right, so I already got the exhaust off here. Yeah, those are some real light springs. We'll change that here in just a wee bit. The way to take these off is for there, there's two nuts, and it's a jam nut designed to keep the rocker arm a certain distance away from the valve. Now, you'll have to relash your valves when you take these off. I kind of did it by feel, and I noticed I got it a little bit tight, which is no big deal. I easily fix that. So, what you want to do is put your 14 millimeter wrench on there. Oh piece of metal where'd that come from hopefully not the inside of this engine <laughs> and you're gonna need a 10 mil for the smaller one and not moving the and without moving the 14 millimeter wrench loosen the top nut, which will let will not hold anything against the bottom one and it will just unscrew almost lost that whole video would have been done I would have cried. Wow. Alright, the next thing you're going to want to do is you want to take your rope and you want to feed it into the, through the spark plug hole. That way, you can fill the combustion chamber with something that you can easily take out and then that way your valves won't open and you can just pop on your new valve springs. So, I'm going to do this real quick because it can be a little bit difficult and I want to make sure I don't go too long so be right back all right now I got enough rope in there to where valves can only open like a little bit which will be just fine and it's nice that this one has just the retainers on it where you can just slide them over whereas the 212 cylinder head the non hemi of course has these retainer clips on there which can be a little bit more difficult, but since this is a Honda GX 160 cylinder head, that is going to be a little different. 
And this, the reason I went with this is because of higher compression, because they have a 14cc combustion chamber compared to a 18. So how are you going to come off here? Come on. There we go. Take out our other valve spring real quick and just do a side by side comparison. The new one is on your left, the old one is on your right, and the new one is a little shorter, I will say, but it's got plenty of more stiffness to it, so that'll hold our valves open, closed better. This might be a little bit difficult. Okay, I'll be right back. Alright, now I got enough rope in there to where valves can only open like a little bit, which will be just fine. And it's nice that this one has just the retainers on it where you can just slide them over, whereas... The 212 cylinder head, the non-hemi of course, has these retainer clips on there, which can be a little bit more difficult, but since this is a Honda GX 160 cylinder head, that is going to be a different. And this, the reason I went with this is because of higher compression, because they have a 14cc combustion chamber compared to a 18 how are you going to come off here? Come on. There we go. Okay, let's take out our other valve spring real quick. And just do a side-by-side -side comparison. The new one is on your left. The old one is on your right. And the new one is a little shorter, I will say. But it's got plenty of more stiffness to it. So that'll hold our valves open, closed better. This might be a little bit difficult. Okay, I'll be right back. Alright, now we got our valve springs installed. We got the rope out of the combustion chamber and I can feel already trying to just push them down that they are a lot stiffer valve springs even though I already knew that because these are like only a few pounds like under 10 and these are 18 and I would recommend only 18 pound valve springs for just a degoverned engine no billet rod or flywheel because it's the performance gains are very diminishing after 18 pounds but if you're going for an aftermarket rod and flywheel and upgrading your camshaft, you're going to 18 pound valve springs at like a minimum for these motors. So now, I got to go find my tool to see what valve lash we get and do it right. Okay, so I got our rocker arms on here, but they are not, they are not adjusted yet. And our, all I have for the thinnest measurement that on hand is a 10 thousandths feeler gauge. It's going to be a little bit too much because it calls for like 3 or 4 thousandths. So it'll be a little bit off, but it won't be tight. And once the motor warms up, if they're too tight, it'll actually hold the valve open because everything expands. pushing pre Putting pressure on the v uh, valve, not even when it's supposed to. So we're going to take our... 10 thousandths feeler gauge, wiggle her on in there, and take our adjustment nut, and just feel for it. That should be, oh, that's more than 10 thousandths, I think. This feeler gauge isn't very bendy. Let's bend this out of the way. Thank you. Okay, let's try this. 
this again. There. Hands in there. Up from the bottom, I guess. I'm this this looks completely bad. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stop for now. Alright, we got it adjusted to where there is well that uh, exhaust is a little bit more than intake, but the exhaust will heat up more anyways, but I want to turn it over, make sure that nothing is binding or anything, and there you go. Got those on. Yeah, that's going to need to be tightened up a little bit more. Yeah, that'll be better. Let's tighten that back up. And, we didn't even really use the feeler gauge to get that answer. So we can throw our spark plug back in. Or you know what, maybe we want to do our valve cover first. And yes, I am reusing the gasket. Sue me. Alright guys, I'm going to test fire it up, see how she runs, see, start, fuel on, ignition, it was shaking so much on the concrete. there you have it folks. Predator 212 with 18 pound valve springs. Didn't remove the cylinder head to install them. This thing sounds pretty good. What do you think I should do next? Do you think I should get a different air filter and re-jet re -jet it? Make it a little bit better? 
This thing would really fly if it had that. I think it would also shoot flames a lot cool, better, too. I'm not sure. But I'd like to hear from you guys on what I should do next with this. It's pretty nice, I believe. And it's already got a high compression cylinder head on it, so I'm not going to shave that or anything. It's already 14 cc's. But it runs pretty good still, so I'll talk to you guys later. And hopefully we can keep her going.